Hi everyone, it's Rachel Kleiman from rwcrafts.com. Today I am sharing with you an artist trading card that I created using this new stamp from Stamp Boutique Originals. His name is Beardy. It's this cute little bee wearing a winter scarf. So I am going to spend a couple minutes coloring him with my Neo Color 2 crayons and also my Dino Wakely scribble sticks. So while I do that, I have put on some music for you and I will be back in a couple of minutes. Enjoy. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that fast paced coloring. I did fussy cut the B. I used my cutter B scissors uh, to do the detail cutting. So now I have trimmed a piece of watercolor paper to three and a half by two and a half inches. That is the standard size for an ATC. I'm just doing a quick watercolor wash on the background. I'm using both my yellow Dina Wakely scribble stick and my yellow Neo color crayon just to do that basic background wash. So the challenge over at Stamp Boutique today for the next couple weeks is actually use a stencil. So I am using one stencil. This is by the Crafters Workshop. It's simply called Hexagons. And I'm going to use it three different ways. So to get started, I'm using the medium sized hexagons and I'm using the Distress Oxide. This is Wild Honey, I believe. So I'm just doing a simple inking over those medium hexagons. I'm using a Distress Ink Foam Blender to go over the top. And you can see I mounted everything down with washi tape so that it didn't move while I was doing the ink blending. So next I'm planning on doing some embossing. So I'm going over the whole card with my embossing buddy, which is actually something that gets rid of the static on paper. 
And now I'm using the smallest hexagons here. And I'm going to just press down my Versamark watermark ink pad over those tiny hexagons. And you can see again, I've masked off everywhere where I don't want to be embossed. And I'm going to go over it with some Hero Arts gold embossing powder. So I always keep just a folded scrap piece of paper there for any embossing I do. What you don't see is that I do use a very small brush to just brush away any of the embossing powder that's in a place where I don't want it. So I did do two sets of that, of those small hexagons. You didn't need to see the whole process again, so I just skipped through that. So now I'm using the largest hexagon, which I am planning to use as kind of a base or a mount for the little bee. So I have used about every single size of hexagon in that one stencil, but all in different ways. So get creative with your stencils. If you don't own any stencils, you can always make your own. Just get a piece of cardstock and cut a design out and you can use that as a stencil. So what you see is that hexagon that I cut out, I actually didn't like the gray, so I went back over it with an orange distress ink. And now I am spraying some uh, drywall mounting tape, actually, which is one of my favorite mixed media items that I use. And I sprayed that with Dina Wakely gloss spray in the color Cheddar. And what I love about the drywall tape is it's actually stick, it's like a sticker, so I can just peel it off and place it down without having to use any additional glue products. And I'm just adding that colored tape onto my ATC. And I wanted to give a little bit of dimension to the ATC. There's not too much dimension already. There is texture for sure. So I'm just mounting that large hexagon with some foam tape. I did ink the edges with the hickory smoke distress ink just to make it pop out a little bit. And I did some bronze color splatters. You can never go wrong with ink splatters. And I'm using Tombow Mono Multi Glue to glue down my B onto that hexagon. He looks so cute. He looks so happy in a little, his little ATC beehive. <laughs> and I just wanted to add one more little bit of texture or dimension. So I'm simply tying some Lawn Fawn natural twine around the bottom. This also helps anchor the bee so he doesn't look like he's just floating in the space of the ATC. I am not going to take my time to turn that into a bow, <laughs> so I'm just going to cut the, the edges of the twine there. And there you have it. That is the completed version of my Beer Tea ATC for the Use a Stencil Stamp Boutique Challenge. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye!